Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, I am going to discuss one very important concept related to flattening out JSON file in Snowflake. Okay, so let's first try to understand what is the data set, right? So suppose we are having a HR data set, okay? This particular data set I will be providing in the description box or in the comment section. If you want, you can download from the link and then practice along with this video, okay? So that you will be getting more better idea, right? So if you see, this is HR related data set, which is basically containing the employee ID, employee's first name, employee's last name, okay? Then gender, then city name, okay? Then what is the job title and the salary, okay? So that is basically present like this kind of object, okay? So job and the whole job is basically one object and inside that there are basically two key value pair. One is title, what is the designation of that employee, that post and the salary, okay? Then up to this particular job part, if I ask you to flatten, it is very simple basically. Like for ID, if you want dollar one colon ID. Okay, then if you want to do type casting to integer, then colon colon int, you can write. Similarly, if you want to extract first name, dollar one colon first name colon colon string. Last name, dollar one colon last name colon colon string. For gender, dollar one colon gender colon colon string. For city also same. Suppose for job, if you consider this kind of object format, then how we will do? So basically, suppose you require the job title, then you can simply do dollar one colon job colon title colon colon string right that way you will be getting the values this is perfect but suppose in your json data array is present then how to flatten it out okay that's the question and in this particular hr related data there is a possibility that array will be present let's see how okay so maybe one particular key is spoken language okay so one particular employee can speak multiple language okay generally when we fill some form then it is asked that what are the languages you know whether you are able to write or not what is the write proficiency what is the read proficiency so it might happen that the employee can enter multiple values okay that time the spoken language will be coming as array like here if you see the language here assamese okay then level okay then here another language then the level okay so this kind of thing language is telugu and then the level is basic so this language is basically one array similarly another possibility is previous company okay for one employee it is possible it is the first company so that time previous company will be empty array but it might possible that one particular employee is experienced enough that he has already worked on two or three different companies then that will be basically one array like if you see previous companies here this is coming as one array okay now in this kind of scenarios flattening the whole data and put in a proper format is bit tricky and that's what i am going to discuss so that you will be having no issue in your practical implementation when you will face this kind of business requirement okay right so first what i did i just took one simple row and then i took in a separate json file okay just to show you the structure in a simpler format okay so id first name last name gender and city then if you see jobs Jobs is basically, as I told you, it is an object. So if I expand that, you can see it is title and salary. That's it, okay? So it is basically object, not a very big deal to flatten. But spoken language, if you see this, this is one array, okay? Just observe this here. And inside array, each element are object, which is basically containing one particular part is the language, uh, which language the employee know and what is the level, okay? Right? So these informations are present as array elements, okay? Now we have to flatten that out. So let's try to go step by step. And I am hoping you have done some kind of array flattening in Spark or some this kind of big data other framework in other data warehousing system, maybe that in Hive or EMR, wherever. Okay. So that particular concept might be help you to understand this particular concept in a better way. Okay. Like in PySpark, we use explode function, which basically help in segregation array elements in different, different rows. Basically from one single value. Okay. One single array, we can generate multiple rows. Okay. So just if you consider that we are having one ID and then first name and the previous company. In the previous company, there are two array elements, okay? Just let's, for the time being, let's make it very simple, okay? 
Now, if we try to explore that what will happen, ID and first name for both the rows, it will become in same value. Two DAG, two DAG. But for this previous company, first row will contain the first value, next row will contain the next value. As you see here, first row is containing the first value, next row is containing the next value. Okay. So what you are understanding from this? Suppose the array element is five, then five rows will be created where on the previous company name will be changing in individual row but other data points, other column values will be same basically, right? That's what the explore does in PySpark, okay? So in other way, you can think in simple format that previous company, we are passing via a system which will expand this particular array into multiple rows and it, it will create a table, okay? Like here, two array elements. So basically you can think like one particular table will be created using the flatten function or explode function, whatever we are applying. And that will create a table which is having only one column previous company and multiple rows. Okay. And in multiple rows, there will be basically multiple values, individual values. So you can consider like this way here I can write. So suppose you are passing that particular previous company via a particular function, then what will happen? that this array will be exploded and just think that it will be creating a table like this, okay? Individual element will be in individual row, okay? And another table you consider, okay? Try to understand this very carefully. Another table is basically all other data points in that row, okay? So like for example, here it will be ID and then here it will be first name, right? So this is basically another table. And this will be basically having the value 2 and this is basically tag, right? Okay, so just try to understand how this particular output is generated. Then it will be very easy for you to understand the code part, okay? How we generated this output. So what is happening in the back end, you can think that is previous company, there might be some function, the function name is suppose A. So what we do, we pass that particular previous company column via the function or via the system A, okay? What it will do, it will explode the array. Explode the array is nothing but, it will be keeping each element of that array in individual row. Okay, suppose there is another element in this particular array, which is having the name as uh, TCS, then what will happen here in another element, TCS will come, okay? Just how many array elements are there, that many rows it will be creating, okay? Right? And there is another table which will contain all other data points of the other columns apart from the array column, okay? So like here, if you consider ID and first name, that is present in another table. Now, to get this particular output result, what we are doing? We are doing basically cross join between this table and this particular table, okay? So if you do cross chain, what you will be getting? So you will be getting two tag and cross chain basically combine individual element with the other table, right? So basically here also you'll be getting two tag because here in this particular table, only one element is present. Just it will be combined with all the elements, all possible permutation combination with other table, okay? Then similarly here, you will be getting two tag and they are here, another company will be getting as TCS, okay? So what is happening? I hope the backend picture is clear to you how this kind of data we, are, data we are generating. First, this particular array column is exploded and suppose it is creating a table and with the other column elements of that particular row, okay? Of that particular row, we are creating another table and then we are doing cross turn between these two tables and we are generating this kind of data, okay? So I hope you are understanding how we generated this particular output okay now suppose here another array element is present suppose three and then the first name is tom and then he or she might have worked in multiple companies and same concept will be applied first the previous company will be passed via system which will explode that previous company column which is basically array to multiple rows and it will consider other column elements as another table and it will try to do cross join between those two tables, okay? So this is how basically overall any explode or flatten kind of function works in different database systems, right? Now in Snowflake, what is the function? 
like I told you, right, in Spark it is explode. Similarly, in Snowflake the function is flatten. Okay, so flatten basically uh, convert one particular uh, array to multiple rows. Okay, one to n mapping it basically does in simple words I can say. So how to implement this flatten function? Like how we implement count function, select count star, or maybe how we implement length function select length of a on a particular string column like that we apply right so can we apply flatten function like that same way let's test it out okay so what we will do we will basically try to copy this particular code okay so what we are doing here first we are dropping a database we are creating a database we are using that database we are creating a table testing flatten with variant data type with only one column raw row okay and then we are selecting all of them and then we will try to apply flatten function on previous company key for the raw row JSON. Okay, we'll see that. So first step, what we'll do, we'll paste that whole code. And then here, we'll execute this one. And then here, we'll execute this one. And then here, we'll execute this one. We'll execute this one. Okay, now we have to ingest the data. So what I will do, I will go to database. Okay, and then here, Ramu database. Okay. And Ramu database is this is the table, and then we'll load the data from the console itself. If you want, you can load the data from external state or something else, also not an issue. Okay. So here what I will do HR data JSON. Okay, we'll load and then we will go to next. And then here file format we have to choose. So we'll click on plus. We'll try to create a new file format. Demo flatten array. Okay. And then the file format is basically JSON file format. Comment, I don't want to give any comment and let's finish that. And then next click on load. Okay. So it is loading and it is loaded. Okay. So click on okay. And then here go back to warehouse and sorry, go back to worksheet. And then here you can execute select raw row from testing flatten. So here if you see here we are getting the raw row. Okay. So like here previous company is null. It might happen that employee is fresher. So that time it is his or her first company, right? So it might happen. But if you see the spoken language, it is basically kind of array. Okay. So we'll try to do that. So first what we will do, uh, like for example, if you consider this particular row, here previous company value is there. So let's try to flat the array. Okay. So select raw row, comma, flatten, raw row, colon, previous company from testing flatten. Okay. Let's execute that and here what you are getting unknown function flatten that is snowflake is unable to detect the flatten function then what is the problem happening because I told you right that uh, flatten is the function which basically flat or explode one particular array to multiple rows but snowflake is unable to detect that what is happening so basically the thing is here is the observation okay flatten is a table function it is not a scalar function like how you use count or how you use length function or how you use sum function or max function or mean function like that kind of way you cannot utilize flatten function okay it is a table function and table function are used in the from clause of an sql statement remember this you cannot use flatten here it should be in the from clause after the from clause okay right so let us try to see some attempt so previous query where what we executed is this particular one which was not working because flatten function we should not be putting here because it is a table function so we should be using that after the from class right so let's move that after the from class simple right so take the flatten function in the from class so what we did we basically took this particular one and we basically removed from here and we pasted after the testing flatten table name as you see here select raw row from testing flatten then here we are using that particular function on the previous company which is basically array right now the question comes this is one table and this flatten will generate another table so in between that something should be present right so what i told you basically nothing but the flatten will make one particular array which is sitting in one particular row from that it will be creating multiple rows okay it will explode the array so one to n mapping it will be doing and you can think that flattened output which is basically exploded array version that is another table okay with respect to that table 
and this table we have to do what join cross join right i have just now explained you so we can use cross join functionality so select raw row from the actual table cross join flatten and this one okay and if you want you can avoid writing cross join you can just put simple comma it will also indicate that you are doing cross join okay right i hope up to this it is crystal clear right now whenever we do join then it is a very important good way of writing sql query that is give the alias name so let's give the alias name so select raw row we are basically taking from this particular testing flatten right so select t dot raw row from testing flatten t okay and f dot star we are doing where f name we are giving for that table what we are getting from the flatten function okay that particular array after explosion whatever table will be getting that particular table name suppose we are giving f and we are extracting all the elements from that table so we are giving f dot star very simple up to this right so basically we applied flatten function on the array column from one single array element we got multiple values like that it will be applied throughout the table and that particular tabular data we are giving the name f now basically we are giving alias name okay now a very simple concept yet very important if you have already worked with subqueries then if you have worked with correlated subqueries i hope you have already encountered this okay that is here this particular piece acting like a subquery okay but we are not specifying the complete stuff we are referring raw row which is basically present outside this particular query okay where is raw row raw row is coming from testing flatten table which is outside this particular subquery right so if you are referring something outside this subquery then you should be using lateral keyword okay so that it will be indicating this is a correlated subquery and side by side it will be simultaneously executing lateral means nothing but side by side right uh, latitude longitude i hope you have already studied in geography so that kind of concept only we are applying okay so what is the final query select t dot raw row we are extracting raw row from our original parent table and then here f dot star where f is basically flattened data on that array column from testing flatten which is our actual table t then comma this comma is nothing but cross join okay then we are applying flatten function to explode the array okay but what reference we are giving inside the flatten function which is acting like subquery that is referring something outside the subquery raw row it is basically present outside the subquery right in testing flatten table that's why we have to use lateral keyword okay that way it will be understanding okay this is correlated subquery and for each element okay for each element of raw row dot pre previous company whatever will be happening for each element this particular function will be applied and then cross join will be applied and we will be getting result set so it is kind of for each loop in sql okay lateral join you can consider this as lateral join right because lateral keyword we are using with cross join so lateral join we also uh, popularly tell this as lat lateral join okay so what what is the final essence the final concept is basically nothing but for each row of the previous company whatever we are iterating in the testing flatten for that this flatten function will be executed and after explosion with that particular row it will be doing cross join and it will return the result set okay so let's see this this might be appearing a bit tricky but these are the only way to explain i tried to explain in an easy way you just try to run the code and try to feel the idea okay so if you see raw row let me just do one thing let me just take uh, previous company so it will be helpful for understanding purpose so if you see this particular one here what we are getting t dot raw row dot previous company this is what we are getting from testing flatten table okay so if you see here there are three companies okay now when we apply flatten function it is giving lot of elements okay out of this here is value part so if you see these are the three companies right these three companies are present in one single array now after flattening it is coming under different different rows first array element is coming under first row then next array element and then next array element here you are seeing the index positions as well okay right simple 
okay so like for example i can show you one particular use case suppose for the employee id 7 we want to explode let me just see whether this employee id 7 worked on previous company or not so here if i go to this side here see language is korean level is basic previous company no previous company no let's choose something which is having previous company maybe see spoken language spoken language here this is one array as well as uh, previous company is also there, but only one element i want to get such row which is containing both so if you see this particular row previous company has multiple elements similarly here if you see uh, that spoken language is also lot of array element okay so what is this particular id id is 12 okay so let me apply id condition okay so where basically t dot row row dot id colon colon int equal to equal to 2 okay so let's apply that invalid identifier t dot row dot id let me just run once and let me check how id is coming so id is coming like this okay so why it is not working let me put it here and try once okay so if i put that here and t dot com Oh, sorry. Actually, it should be colon. That's why it is not working. That's how we extract the key value. Yeah, it is coming. Okay. So, what I will do, I will basically use that where clause and here raw row colon id colon int equal to equal to. So, if you apply, so not equal to equal to only one equal to. So, if I execute that, here you will see that basically. Here let me take dot only. Here you see what we are getting. Here we are getting raw row, okay, which contain the complete information. So suppose we want to put these two previous companies in two different rows as well as for spoken language, okay. So what we will do for this particular lateral flatten if it is giving us lot of information. Let us just take only what we require, okay. So only the value column we require. So instead of if dot start, we can give if dot value. Okay. Then here, what we'll do if dot value, and then here we will be converting this to string. Okay. So basically, just we are if is basically alias name. So from alias name, if we want to choose a particular column, we just give dot that column name. Similarly, like that. Here we are interested only in value column, so we are taking like that. Okay. String as previous company okay and then if i execute this particular one here you will able to see that here previous company is exploded okay but suppose we want to do the same for this particular spoken language as well okay then what we will do we will basically click on done okay and then here we will be doing another lateral join let me copy this And let me maybe put G. Okay. Right. So here I'll be putting spoken language. Okay. So spoken language G. And then here G dot hello colon colon string as language okay let's execute that and let's see what we are getting unexpected fellow f okay lateral flattening f t then in addition to okay Here actually comma will be coming. Okay. 
right so if i execute that here you will able to see this particular employee just pick up okay so if you see here spoken language and what are the spoken language one language two language three language okay and there are basically two previous companies so basically three and two cross chain we are applying so six rows we are getting right all possible combinations so if you see language is coming so each language will be coming two two times because each language will be mapped with two different previous companies right similarly here if you see this language same language is mapped to two different companies and this language is also mapped to two different companies like that you can do and then on top of this if you want you can process it further like for example if you want to get only language part then here dot value then here uh, once you convert to string maybe if you want you can give dot colon language okay so let's see it okay now this is basically string right so here what we have to do we have to use parse json to convert that to json element and then we can add i think now it will work see language it is only taking okay and moreover that if you want you can remove this by kind of double position with colon okay see here language if you see assam assamese okay then here one more and here telugu one more so those languages are only extracted with respect to each company it is mapped right so this is how using lateral flatten you can play with this is all for my this video thank you for watching